Hello and welcome to another adventure with Paul's Computer Emporium. Today we're going to be looking at whether Windows XP browsers are still updated in 2020. Can we even get on the internet? Can we even download any browsers? Well, let's go and have a look. So as we all know, Windows XP was end of life many years ago now. Let me just check on my secret database of when it actually was end of life. Yeah, I can see that it was actually end of life on April the 8th, 2014. After that, no patches or security updates were really released for it. The best five browsers for Windows XP. Looks like someone's already done this for us then. There's no point in making this video. So, yeah, smash the like button. No, just kidding. Let's go on the list, see which ones of these browsers actually work, see if they're any good, and see if we can get on the internet on Windows XP in 2020. So let's start with UC Browser as it's first on the list. I can remember this browser from Windows Mobile about 10 years ago. Yeah, it wasn't bad at the time, but I don't know how it's aged. Right, let's click the download link then and see what we get. Wow, it's, well, it's a bit basic, doesn't it, really? Um, yeah, not going to be the Java version then, is it? I can't see any Windows XP version on here, so um, yeah, we'll have to have another look. So I finally found a link on Softonic. Let's get it downloaded and see if it's going to install. Right, it's only 1.6 meg, so it's probably going to be a web installer. Well, I couldn't find any other download, so let's give it a go anyway and see what happens. Well, something's happened. It's better than I thought it would be. Right, let's uh, opt out of the customer improvement plan in the default browser and then see if it's going to work. Ooh, sketchy. That doesn't look good. Right, let's just go through with it anyway. It says standalone installer. Let's click on that and see what happens. Yeah, not really a great start for the top five browsers, is it? Didn't really install and came up with a possible threat. Oh, well, let's move on to the next one. Right, so up next is Beidou Spark Browser. I've not heard of this one before. Let's give it a try and see if it's any better than you see. Direct link to Soft on it this time. Let's take a look at the wiki page for Beidou. Yeah, I've seen that logo a few times before, I think, but nothing I can really place. Looks like quite a big Chinese corporation. So it's that time again to risk all. Looks like another online installer. Let's give it a go and see what happens. Well, we've got somewhere. Oh, wait. It's loaded up in next 4 8. It must be trying to link to somewhere else. I guess we move on to the next one. Aww. Right, Epic Privacy Browser. Let's do this. So, yeah, uh, again, basically the direct links are both online installers and um, they ain't going to really work with XP. So. I looked around and I managed to find an offline. Uh, you can see it's the full file size. So, right, we're ready to get Epic. Right then, so this brings us on to our fourth browser, Chameleon. I've used this browser before in Windows 98. It's quite well respected and still quite updated. I haven't really used it in Windows XP before, so let's give it a download and see what happens. Finally, we got there. A browser for Windows XP we can download, it's still updated, and seems to actually work. Let's try out a few websites and see what it can do. So I've been using an older version of Comedian for Windows 98. It does quite well for downloading patches and web browsing. But it doesn't seem to do too well for sites like YouTube. Let's go on and have a look and see if this XP version is any better. So yeah, still not working really. I think there are some ways you can get around it. But uh, yeah, out of the box, it doesn't seem to like YouTube. Chameleon's definitely an option for Windows XP web browsing. Let's go back to the list and check out Firefox. This list was created in 2019. As we can see, it says Firefox hasn't been updated for over a year. So it's not going to be really worth testing out over the other browsers we've already tried. So that just about wraps up our random Google search for XP browsers. 
However, there's one browser not on the list, a browser I've been using throughout this video. This browser doesn't have a grand name like other browsers, it's not that well known, but it does seem to do the job. When using XP, MyPal is based off Pale Moon and maintains a mature fork of Mozilla Firefox. What this basically means is, someone's got the Pale Moon browser and then made it as backwards compatible as possible to Windows XP. The download's fairly simple for XP, all you need to do is visit the GitHub page for the browser, download the 32-bit version and install. After first installing Windows XP, you're not going to have access to the internet, only through Internet Explorer 8. What you need to do is download this on a newer PC, then just copy it across. So this is the only XP browser I've found that does actually support YouTube straight out of the box. I didn't actually have to install anything extra, it just worked straight away. So what have we found out then? There's a lot of dead information about Windows XP, but we found two browsers, Chameleon and MyPal, that are both still updated and support most things on the internet. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to go out and do internet banking on either of them, but for just browsing and downloading updates for old games, both of them work fine. So you might have seen AVG antivirus pop up a couple of times. This is still supported and updated in Windows XP and does add a little bit extra security, but if I was going to do anything important, then I'd definitely use something more modern. Even accessing emails or Facebook would be a definite risk in XP. Thanks for